Chicago Bears behind Brian Treat him like you treat him. Would they look fine and dandy? With Brian Greasy at the controls. First drive, not so much. Second play of the second quarter, the line's up 3-0. Tatum Bell going in the end zone, third and one from the five. Only problem, didn't tote the rock the full distance. Alex Brown recovers, and even worse than losing the ball, Bell loses a little piece of wardrobe. Oh, man. Wow. Function, is that a fine? That looks like that new show on HBO right yeah, there. <laughs> Brian Greasy coming right back. Bernard Barry in 26-yard gain. Now we're getting a little bit of consistency on the offense. Four plays later, third and seven, Greasy. Desmond Clark, first down. Three plays later, third and nine again. Greasy converts, four, six to Moosin Muhammad. Nice. Nice ball, nice throw up high to the big guy. Seven to three, next possession for the Bears. And the Lions 34. Greasy to Muhammad, moving chains. Two plays later, second and nine, Greasy finds Rasheed Davis. I could tell by your voice you set me up. Next Bears play. Oh, I could tell by your voice, Richard, setting me up. Greasy dials up his inner Rex. No! With 30 seconds to go in the half with an automatic field goal, that's a big mistake. Fernando Bryant picks it off, and I was setting you up. Third quarter, first play for the Lions from their own 15. Kitna sacked by Mark Anderson. Brandon McGowan recovers. And the Bears are setting up shop from the Lions. 10, third and eight. Greasy, I'm setting you up again, Deion Sanders. Don't do it, Tim. I can't handle this emotion. No, no. Ernie don't Sims. do me like that, Rich. Ernie Sims picks it off. Cedric the... Benson, I tell you what, 15 carries for 50 yards. That's one of the problems. We can't run, so we have to pass, and that calls causes problems like this. First career interceptions for Sims seem to be thrown a bit behind Barry in there. Ensuing drive in the fourth quarter. Lions, however, can't put points on the board until here. Starting off an insane fourth quarter as Sean McDonald gets a four-yard touchdown catch. Lions down 13-10. Next possession for the Bears. Greasy looks for Barry in again. Keith no, Smith no. picks it off and He's he is gone. Keith He's Smith, Magny State. 64 yards for the touchdown, and the Lions take a 17-13 lead on Greasy's third interception of the game. And Grossman out, Greasy in, still having ball control problems on offense, don't, but at least the Bears it, have this guy. Coach, don't do what, Coach? Don't kick it to this guy. Tell him once again, Coach. Don't kick it to him. We told you not to kick it to him. Devin Hester. Get out of my way. This is ridiculous. Get out of my way. You say this every week. This is stupid. How many times this guy does this? It's nuts, 97 yards. The Bears take the lead right back. Next line's possession. Kitten on second, 10 for zone 37. Yeah, we're replaying this game. Mike Furry over the middle, 49-yard game. I love this receiver. You can count on him. He runs precise routes. You know where he's going to be, and he will make the catch and track. Two plays later, Kitna looking end zone. Sees a wide open Troy Walters. Initially called not a catch, but you can see he's dragging feet. He's dragging his feet. Rod Marinelli's got to challenge this. And he would and get that challenge. Detroit goes up 24-20 to 20 on the touchdown. Next possession for Detroit. Here's Kevin Jones Good taking it in. Him back healthy. Kevin Jones lines up 30-20 to 20 after the extra point is blocked. You know, that always gets Earlier back to haunt from you. Virginia Tech. Next possession from Chicago. Greasy inside the 10. Don't do it. Ball's coming loose again, but Don't Roberto it. Garza grabs it. Get it, big guy. Then fumbles into the end zone, and the Lions get it. Except the booth buzzes down in the last two minutes, and it comes out a whole different scenario. Give a listen. After reviewing the play, it's been determined the quarterback had an empty hand as he tried to pass the ball. Therefore, it's ruled by definition as a fumble, fumble forward, caught in the air by number 63. By rule, he cannot advance the ball. It will come back to the spot of the fumble at the 13-yard line. It'll be second down. That was, like, that was like a Shakespearean play. That was interesting. Bottom line is the Bears still have the ball, and they score a touchdown with it. Stick rope. And this game's not over because the whole empty hand stuff, I love replay, but sometimes it just boggles the mind how things can be taken too literally when you go in that booth. The onside kick. And this one's recovered by Casey Fitzsimmons, and he's going the whole way to give Detroit an NFL record 34-point fourth quarter to beat the Chicago Bears in Ford Field and send last year's NFC champs like last year's AFC regular season champs in the San Diego Chargers, to one in three 
to start the season. The 48th combined fourth quarter points at the most all time and the second most in any quarter in NFL history. But of course, Lovey Smith, the only numbers he's concerned with is one and three.